Hey, hello, my dear self learners. How are you all? I hope that everybody is fine. And here I, Ritika, am back for you, bringing with me another new session. And before telling you what are we going to study today, we will have a quick, quick tour around Swift Learn to see and to know about the platform at which we are studying. So we are here at Swift Learn, which is India's most sincere learning destination, providing the classes for grade one to grade ten. Here you will be getting live and interactive classes with batches having maximum six students. Apart from teachers, you also have academic mentor team to track your progress and to guide you. Then we have, you know, the syllabus covering, which is. Um, about as per exam school exam schedule so that you can perform well in your school exams also and some of the more features like detailed progress report so it will be a kind of detailed analysis in the progress report which will be provided to you then we have swiftland academic test series uh, in which you can compete with the students of your grade you can see your position and can work accordingly also you can take unlimited practice test including two categories of subjective and objective so what will happen is the subjective test will help you in your school exams further so please book your free trial class have the experience and please tell me how your experience was also if you are new to the channel of swift learn please subscribe to it press the bell icon and if you like the video press on like button so Today we are going to study about sound and noise and it is our session number 1. So stay tuned with me towards uh, I guess it's 2-3 uh, sessions uh, chapter. So be with me to know everything about sound and noise. Okay, so today basically we are going to focus on some of the uh, common sounds of objects and the sounds made by living beings. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Now we will be having a small activity in which I will be playing certain sounds. Okay, so let us quickly begin. Okay. Then we have this one. Okay, and one more. Okay, so do you hear something? And what is it known as? It is known as sound. Okay, so what is sound and how we can define sound, how we can describe sound. So sound, it is one form of energy. Which form of energy? It is a form of energy which gives us, which produces us sensation of hearing in our ears. <coughs> so how to define sound? Sound is form of energy which gives us the sensation of hearing in our ears. Okay. Now talking about, uh, you know, if I talk about fruits, if I talk about photographs, if I talk about films, these things are produced, right? Similarly, sounds are also produced. And it is produced by living beings and non-living things also, okay? So we humans, animals, they all produce sounds and talking about non-living things, music systems and uh, you know, the gramophone, violin okay these all things also produce sounds now let's talk about some of the common objects which produce sound if you have ever seen your wall clock it will be making a very soft voice okay like tick tock tick tock it will be making a very soft sound but on the contrary if i talk about alarm clock it will make a kind of loud alerting sound okay so this is the difference like uh, alarm clock it makes a bit louder sound and our wall clock it makes very soft sound next if i talk about doorbell so it will again make a bit loud sound so that the people who are inside the house they get to know that someone is there at the door and we need to open the door 
then we have utensils in the kitchen so if uh, you accidentally drop a steel or uh, you know any kind of utensil it will be making a loud noise okay it will be making as soon as it uh, touches the ground it makes a kind of very loud noise and these are uh, some of the things that make certain sounds like if i talk about refrigerator if you have ever noticed it will be making a kind of buzzing sound similarly with hair dryer hair dryer also makes a kind of uh, you know vibrating or buzzing sound fan makes a particular uh, kind of noise and television we all know it makes it has various various voices uh, sounds uh, whichever channel we turn on to next in what ways water can make sound so if you have ever heard the rain drops falling on the ground it makes a distinguished kind of sound right water flowing off of the tap also makes a sound next is musical instruments so if i talk about musical instruments how do they sound they sound very pleasant okay we mostly love the uh, sound of musical instruments now talking about the sounds made by living things so what are the some of the sounds which are produced by living beings so we will be seeing lions they roar sheep bleat donkeys they bray crow sound is caw bees they make a kind of buzzing sound snake they make hissing sound duck quacks hen clucks and pigeon coo so these are sounds of some animals and birds so we'll be hearing it also okay so this is the sound of lion then talking about horse <laughs> okay so that becomes horse uh, sound then we have sheep so this is the uh, sound which is made by sheep and elephant it makes a kind of okay so these were sound made by some of the animals now talking about sounds which human produce so we can produce various type of sound like clapping snapping right so we can sing clap run running also sometimes produces a particular sound cough sneeze uh, when we whistle when we cry laugh when we knock the door so these are some of the sounds which are produced by humans <coughs> okay so let's revise name five sounds made by non living things so whenever a music system is playing whenever we drop a utensil the water falling okay uh, knocking of the door a doorbell clock so these are all the sounds which are made by non living things next five sounds made by animals so if i talk about uh, animals there are all all animals make a distinguished sound right for example pigeons they coo uh donkeys they bray lion they roar okay horse it neighs so these are some of the sounds which are made by animals and sounds made by humans so we can make various sound like clapping snapping singing running and we can also make uh, you know whenever we are knocking something we also make sound Okay so now time for some interesting facts the speed of sound it is 767 miles per hour which is approximately 1230 km per hour next dogs can hear sound at higher frequency than humans allowing them to hear noises that we cannot so dogs they hear voice at higher frequency and that is why they are able to hear the noise which we cannot and scientific study of sound waves it is known as acoustics okay so our challenge of the day says that when we put our ear onto a railway track although it is not recommended uh, we can hear the sound of approaching train even when train is very far off but it we cannot hear that same sound in air why so the railway track it is made up of metal right and sound it travels faster in metal so when we put our ear to the railway track we are able to hear it and in the air sound travels relatively slower so that is why we hear it after a 
Y. Let's have an activity to see the things we have covered today. Which of the following is not produced by, uh, not a sound produced by non-living thing? Fire engine siren, doorbell, alarm clock, or bird chirping. So bird is living being, living thing. I'm sorry. Dash produces roaring sound. So lion. And sound is a form of energy. Very true. Sound is a form of energy which gives us the sensation of hearing. All right. So what are the things we have learned today? We learned about sound of some common objects and sounds made by living beings. So I hope you might have understood everything. It was very easy chapter and we will be meeting in the next session in which we will be learning a bit new things about sound and noise. So thank you everyone stay tuned and we will be meeting in next class